Well, founder member of Big Country was Clive Parker Sharp. He was also at the forefront of the punk movement and he is performing at the Ludlow Fringe Festival on Saturday with the story of Cone Boy. Cone Boy is very much a mashup of people, places and experiences uh, from my life kicking off in the 1970s. It's semi-autobiographical. It's about a boy born with a very special look and thrust into the media spotlight. So in a way, um, it's, it's crossing the decades because it's about um, how celebrity was then and how celebrity has, has grown up in the social media world now, very much now. It's a kind of comment on how you can become a celebrity now for existing rather than having any particular talent or um, skill, whereas obviously, you know, in the 70s, it was a it was a whole different ballpark. So so in a way, it's about the um, the coming of age of celebrity and and how that's changed through the years. And for you, obviously, you had to have the skills. You you had to have the, those drumming skills. Who influenced you when when you were getting into music? Keith Moon and John Bonham. Who of else? Of course, <laughs> of course, <laughs> all the great. You know. Uh, you know, I grew up on, on, on the bands that, uh, you know, everybody else heard, people like Free and all the rest of it, all of, all of the greats, Pink Floyd, what have you, and there were so many brilliant players around. You know, it doesn't diminish the, uh, the quality of players now. I think there's, just, there's some amazing players around now, but obviously musicians from the 70s, because, you know, in a way, the, the parochialness of music and the disconnect, because there was no internet, you know, people had a very unique voice and, you know, these were very unique and influential musicians. But obviously, you know, my own um, coming of age was through punk rock in a way. And so, um, you know, that was, that was my own particular playing ground, the punk rock scene. Um, and in a way, this current show is, is uh, a continuum of that tradition, that tradition of counterculture that we had in the 70s and that was born from punk a new wave, and uh, I think a lot of the people that I work with, um, you know, who aren't around now, would probably approve of the kind of that, you know, that folk tradition of the story in Comeboy, uh, the telling through spoken word and music. You know, going back to that grassroots, which I think is, is a fantastic part of UK culture. You know, it's the vein that runs through Britain, really, the folk culture. You know, we're just two people with two acoustic guitars uh, up on stage doing this rock and roll musical and uh, it's a drama you know very much born of that um that culture from the 70s and 80s where you should get up and do your own thing you know so so is that the the, the kind of style of music that we get to experience through cone boy then well i i ryan i think i'd be deluded to say that i was still a punk rocker <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, oh, you, age, oh come on you're never uh, you're never too old clive come uh, on thank you very much it's very <laughs> kind of you um no, the, the music is, um, it's a rock and roll musical, mm. Cone Boy. It's a drama show about a boy born with a very special look that is thrust into the media spotlight as a result. He becomes famous, a celebrity, and is exploited. So it's a show that's about flat family and loyalties and the damage that can be caused by fame, um, which, you know, I think we, we've, we've seen currently as well, you know, with mm -hmm. things like Love Island and all the rest of it, um, you know, which has been very much in the news. Um, so, I, you know, I think that, that has continued over the decades. But this is a rollicking rock show um, with rock tunes, basically. Um, in a way, you know, the story is a modern take on The Elephant Man, using drama and spoken word and music, but the, uh, the songs are very much um, traditional, anthemic, acoustic rock songs, you know, that are catchy and that people can sing along to. Cone Boy is at the Sitting Room in Ludlow this coming Saturday, 7.30, as part of the Ludlow Fringe Festival.